Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about breastfeeding and my tips and advice for new moms. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you'll consider subscribing. I make lifestyle and motherhood videos and post every week. So for those of you who don't know, I am a mom of three. I am also exclusively breastfeeding my 10 month old daughter. So I've gathered just some tips and tricks that have worked for me that I hope that I can share with other moms just to make your life hopefully a little bit easier during this breastfeeding journey. The first thing I would like to talk about are just clothing hacks um, and different products that I have used that have helped me through my breastfeeding journey. Um, especially in the beginning, I had a lot of trouble with breastfeeding in public. I couldn't quite balance the baby and my desire to not show too much and whatnot. So this is these are tips that I found useful for me. So I ordered a couple packs of these teen tops off of Amazon and they were very inexpensive. I think a three pack was that like $25 or so and I'll link them below. But these were lifesavers. I lived in these. So they're just nursing tank tops and they come in different colors. I got the blacks and then um, some nudes and they just unclip and then you pull it down to nurse. So these were really great. I honestly just wore just this for like a while. <laughs> um, but then once I started feeling a little bit more like myself and wearing regular clothes, I would wear this under my clothes a lot and it would cover your tummy. And um, that way I could just lift up my blouse, unclip this, and my belly would be covered. I mean, you don't have to do that. That was my preference. I wanted my belly covered. I was self-conscious about it. Um, so I would use this tank top all the time. I used it to sleep. I mean, I lived in these. I own five black ones and one nude one because <laughs> I got um, two three-packs. And like I said, they were super inexpensive. I was wearing them from the moment she was born in the hospital until... Even recently, I still wear them to sleep sometimes because it's just easier access. But these are lifesavers, and they also kind of um, were like a little bit shaping of your belly, if that makes sense. Like they're snug fitting, so they kind of help smooth you out a little bit. So these I really, really recommend. Alongside of those, I lived in these tank tops. Anybody who knows me personally knows I wore these daily. <laughs> um, they're also from Amazon and they come in a ton of colors. I have them in like seven different colors. <laughs> so it's a tank top. It's a racer back and it's got kind of like a lacy racer back which is cute and it's a nursing shirt, nursing tank. And basically same thing, same, co same concept. You unclip it and pull it down and that way you can nurse baby. And they're loose fitting so you know, they weren't tight on your belly. They were perfect. They're long, so you can wear them with leggings. Um, these were also reasonably priced, and like I said, every color. I have it in this one, in maroon, in black, in uh, light purple, so many colors. And I just lived in these. It was summertime um, shortly after she was born, so I just lived in these, and they were so comfortable, and they were cute. Everybody always asked me, what you get them? And they were reasonably priced off Amazon so I'll link them below but they were the perfect breastfeeding staple that made me feel like cute and not super frumpy that I could wear with anything with jeans with shorts leggings anything so these were awesome I highly recommend them so something else that was great for breastfeeding for for just like comfort if you don't want your belly to show uh, but also don't want to wear a tank top like Let's say you're wearing a sports bra, a nursing sports bra, so you didn't want to wear a tank top underneath. I would buy these, and they connect here. Try to. They connect either way um, to your nursing bra, and you wear them like a tank top, but they're strapless, um, and then they fit to cover your belly. And when you unclip your bra, this clips down along with it. It kind of connects to it by those clips. These were also awesome. I lived in racerbacks. Um, I, I still do. I love racerbacks. And this was the perfect option for when I wore my sports bra, nursing bra. Um, I can go ahead and clip it on. And then when I unclipped it, 
everything went down with it as well. So it was a great option too for hiding my belly when I was nursing her while wearing sports bras um, or even if you're going to wear a strapless shirt that you need to lift up. Well, I guess you wouldn't lift up. It was perfect with sports bra styles if you know if you want to cover your belly. So up to you. Something else that my absolute favorite nursing accessory is my milk snob covers. Um, I talked about this in my diaper, what's in my diaper bag video. If you haven't watched it, it'll be linked below. Uh, but it's seriously the best. And basically, it's a cover that you can wear. And I'll show you. It has a few different um, uses. I used it to. I had, I had multiple. I used it to cover my car seat all the time um, when the baby was very small. And even now, if it's raining, I'll use it to cover her car seat to just give her some extra, you know, protection from the rain. But this was amazing, and you can wear it a couple different ways. So you put it over your head, and if, let's say I was wearing a strapless shirt or even that tank top I showed you, um, and I just kind of didn't want my whole breast out while nursing, I just put this over, and it would cover the top without having to do anything else. So you see, it kind of looks like a scarf. And it would cover the top of my breast while she was nursing, and you couldn't see anything else. It was great. Um, now, if I was wearing a shirt that was going to show my belly, and I just, like I said, I'm self-conscious about it. You don't have to be. Um, but if you are like me, you just stick one arm through. This took me a little while to figure out. So this is my tip. One arm through, preferably the side where she's nursing or he is nursing from. Um, and then you can hold baby's head while they nurse, and it's covering your belly and covering everything while still having an arm free to do whatever. Um, you need it normally and also helps cool you off a little bit um, you know it just it has so many different configurations you can kind of hold it like this if you just want to cover this side more um, you can go under it completely I've done this a few times where you're just completely hiding it all depends on your comfort level what you're wearing um, mainly your comfort level of course but this just Having this in my bag, to this day I still carry this in my bag because I never know when I might be uncomfortable nursing somewhere because there's a lot of people or, you know, the men in my family are super weird about nursing. So when, you never know when you'll be nursing around them and I feel uncomfortable with how uncomfortable they are and I don't feel like lecturing them, I could just wear my milk snub cover and feel a lot more comfortable. But this was a lifesaver, especially in the beginning when I was trying to figure everything out and I didn't really know what I was doing. Now it's easy. Now I'm just like, boop, boop. She's nursing. It's it's so easy now. But this was a lifesaver. It still is. It's not expensive at all and totally worth the purchase. So those are some clothing hacks and tips. You do, if you plan on nursing, you do definitely want to pick up nursing bras. They are 100% worth it. I know they're expensive. You can get them off of Amazon for way cheaper, and I'll link the ones I use. Um, I have some underwired ones I recently started using, and some that had no underwire um, that I've used this whole time, all 10 months, and they're amazing. So I'll link them below. They're All of them are super reasonably priced. I do not recommend buying them at stores, such as Bye Bye Baby, where I feel like they're like $80 for a bra. <laughs> like, I mean, I guess you can if you'd like, but the Amazon ones, I'll link below the ones I use that I think are great, um, so you have, you know, a mom of three's perspective and review on it, but you definitely, definitely want to get some nursing bras. Okay. So on the topic of bras, um, you're definitely going to need breast pads. They are two options. You have the reusable and the disposable. And in my experience, I think it depends on your output. I happen to have a bit of an oversupply, not too bad, I've been able to manage it, but I have a bit of an oversupply, so I to this day still have to wear nursing pads all the time. So one option is a reusable one, and basically it's lined in the back, and you use them, you throw them in the wash, and then you reuse them. You wanna have quite a bit on hand so that you can swap out. I have a lot of friends that by this point do not need nursing uh, pads. They don't need the nursing pads. I still do, so I guess it's a good thing. Um, not that it's a bad thing otherwise, but you know. Um, so I purchased these after using the disposable ones for a long time. So it comes in a pack like this. I'm gonna rip it open and show you. 
it's folded and you just boop boop open it up and it has little sticky pads in the back so you can stick it into a shirt um, I've worn it with like dresses before that are open back and just stuck it in um, or if you want to stick it into your bra I haven't found that I need to do that I just pop it in and it stays but to each their own whatever works for you so I started off using the disposable ones and I was using these and kind of going through a lot of them especially in the beginning and my friends kept recommending that I use the reusable ones and I'm like you know that sounds good for the environment um, for the pocket for everything um, so I went ahead and I went out and I bought some these I got at Target these are the overnights and I bought the daily um, little heart ones that are much thinner I can't use them. I have too, it depends on the day, but I have too much milk and when I'm nursing her from one side and I have, <laughs> and I have the let down from the other side, they just aren't good for me. You know, you can try them out and see what works for you. They're way better for the environment. I just go through them and they go through my clothes and I just can't have that when I'm out just being all wet. <laughs> so. You know, you guys can try these out. It all depends. For me, the disposable ones work better for me, but a lot of people hate them. They say they're itchy. I've never had that issue. So I would say maybe um, buy one pack of reusable ones and one pack of disposable ones and see what works best for yourself before you make a big investment into either. Um, you can always buy more and this way you know it. You know, you don't want to buy too many of the disposables and then be super itchy. And you don't want to spend a lot of money like I did on the reusable and then them not be worth it for you. So, you know, I would just buy maybe one of each and see how you feel. So, I just kind of want to talk a little bit about how breastfeeding works, I guess. And not the scientific aspect of it, just kind of like a basic breakdown. Because I didn't really have this and I wasn't, I didn't really know what was going on, okay? So... Firstly, when you're pregnant, your body starts to make colostrum, okay? And when the baby is born, your body's already making this, okay? And that's what the baby eats for the first few days until your body registers there's a baby born. And your body knows by delivering the placenta, whichever way you deliver it, when the placenta is no longer connected to your body, it tells your brain, oh, we need milk, okay? So regardless of whether you've breastfed or you know whether you've latched the baby on at all your body is going to start making milk okay I did not breastfeed my first child at all not at all not even for a moment and two days after his birth my milk came in that's what it's called when the milk not the colostrum the actual milk comes into your breast so no matter what it's going to come okay now if your plan is to nurse and I assume it is because that's why you're watching my video then once the baby's born, assuming there's no complications, you want the baby placed on your chest, skin to skin. You don't want to be wearing anything. You want the baby naked as well. You can drape a blanket over the baby and yourself at that point if you want to keep the baby warm, although the skin to skin is going to do that anyways. But, you know, or you just want more privacy. That's fine. And you want to keep the baby there for an hour. The first hour, they don't need to weigh the baby. They don't need to do anything. The baby should go on your chest for the first hour, assuming there's no complications. Of course, if there's a complication, listen to your doctor. And you can tell them this before delivery. That's what I did with Riley, which is my third, because this is a newer concept as far as I know of. Um, and it was great. Okay, so then right away, you can put the baby on your breast to nurse. And that's called latching. When the baby is now on your breast to eat, uh, that's called the latch, okay? So you can latch your baby on right, away, right after birth, and they can start drinking. And what they're going to drink is colostrum. Colostrum is orangey, um, goldy colored in color. Um, and it has so many health benefits. It's amazing. So even if that's all baby gets, baby got something amazing okay so one thing I really really want to stress is that for a lot of women you don't see anything coming out okay and you're gonna immediately think I don't want milk that is completely normal okay it is 100% normal with my first two children my throughout my pregnancy I was leaking colostrum with my third nothing at all and I was like oh my gosh 
I hope this isn't a sign and everyone tells you it's not a sign it's not a sign like it doesn't matter you'll still have milk but you know you're worried you're like oh my gosh like I might not have milk and that's kind of what I was thinking I was like huh you know I hope this isn't a sign that there's no milk but you have to you have to put your fears aside okay <laughs> and you have to realize that most of the time there's obviously occasions where this is not true but most of the time you're going to make milk okay and you can't be freaking out and baby is hungry often okay that is completely normal it is completely normal for your baby to want to latch and suckle every hour it's normal for the baby to want to do it every 20 minutes for two hours and then not at all for you know two hour spurts the rest of the day baby does not eat on a set schedule baby eats when baby's hungry depending on baby peed or pooped and processed it babies process breast milk much faster okay so that's all normal but what you need to do is you need to make sure that when baby is hungry you know showing signs of hunger in those first few days that you go ahead and latch okay because if you're like no oh my gosh like you know baby is so hungry i need to give them a bottle i don't have anything against bottles but for the best chance in your breastfeeding journey you should latch baby and it's completely normal so anyways, back to pain it's gonna hurt okay there is a baby on your boob in a probably in a improper way a couple times and the most important thing you have to remember as far as this goes you want baby to latch right if baby if it, you're like ah and baby didn't latch right you need to fix it immediately don't think oh but she's getting milk and she's hungry like i'll just deal with it no 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 she'll still get milk in like three seconds just pop her off you stick your finger in their mouth oh, and pop them off <laughs> because one minute of a bad latch is going to lead to like an extra day of pain okay so you have to you have to stop baby like <laughs> just pop them off and fix it i was guilty of doing that with pain comes a tip i have for you if you can go to Trader Joe's, go there otherwise you can find these on amazon and i'll link them for you Okay, they're little coconut oil packets. You can pack them in your diaper bag. You can pack them in your hospital bag. You can leave one in the baby's room on the rock next to the rocking chair. You can leave one in your bed, on your nightstand. You can leave one on the couch um, or the coffee table. You can leave them everywhere, okay? And these are the best. So they're little packets and you just cut the tip and it's got coconut oil and this way you can disperse it around the house without having to buy a big jug that cost you know 20 bucks at your local store um, and have those around the house little packets that travel with you these are amazing okay it's coconut oil so that means that you can put it on after a feed it'll help soothe you and you don't have to wipe it off after or before the next feed so yeah so you don't have to wipe it off before you nurse baby because that's a big pain um, and it's you know this one is organic um and it's natural and safe and feels really good so next thing this isn't necessarily something you need but it's something i highly recommend i would say invest in a yeti yetis are my favorite um this one is 30 ounces and it's pink and it's cute and it keeps your water cold a long time so another thing i definitely recommend um is a haka pump I have the Nature Bond version, and it works great also. Um, it's very inexpensive from Amazon, I will link it, and basically when baby is feeding from one side, you put it on the other side, and it catches your letdown. So instead of that milk going into the nursing pad and being gone forever, you can just attach this to your breast, so you fold, you fold the top back, that's how they say to do it. And you put it on your breast and you suction cup it and then this kind of folds over and it's on your breast and it catches the milk flow another way you can do it which is how i initially started doing it, is you squeeze it and suction cup it on <laughs> in an effort to not be super awkward um, so that's good because it helps you save extra milk that otherwise you would just be losing so that's really convenient um as far as pumps go if you have insurance, insurance normally will send you a free pump. If you have a choice, ask for the Spectra. 
if you have a choice in spectras i mean s1 s2 those are the best um my insurance gave me only one option it was the spectra do 300 or 350 so it's this one let's see yeah so it's this one okay and it basically just has a turn dial what you do is you get the whole thing you have to assemble it yourself okay so this you want to make sure it fits you so this and this go together okay these a lot of people don't know need to be replaced often it depends on how often you pump um, you also should be hand washing these in hot bubbly water, you know, soapy water, not like in the dishwasher, not in the sterilizer because it loosens it and this suction is super important. So you just put that in to this part here. You want to make sure it's real good in there because it's making suction, okay? This is what it'll look like. Then you just attach the bottle. That one's easy. And then you attach the to it and then you attach this to your breast and you begin pumping okay. as far as pumping on the go this is where I get involved I'm going out with my girlfriends and I need to pump while I'm out you get a hand pump so <laughs> hi I brought a bottle out to show you guys and she's walking around <laughs> drinking from it it's empty she's just sucking on air which is not good uh, I mean it's not bad but it'll make her gassy but you know um, so you can get a hand pump. I got this one on Amazon. I really like it. Um, I'll link it for you guys as well. This is great. I just put it in my purse, in a Ziploc in my purse, and nobody ever knows. And I bring my milk snob cover just in case I have to do it in the car. And again, nobody knows. So, as far as milk storage, you have many brand options but really just two like storage options you can either use um reusable bottles so this one's from a Modella bottle that i tried with her to see if she would take it and she wouldn't and i just kept the bottle and it came with like a storage lid it has the ounces on it it's um it's actually pretty nice for storing i like it but um i just didn't want to invest in a ton of bottles and have them in my freezer it's like just taking up a ton of space the i like to use best are these um freezer storage bags so basically you break off the seal you pour the milk in and it has a double ziploc like effect to it see that see the white and then the blue um so it double zips and then it has a little white tab and you can write um the date the ounces the time you pumped it and also the name so in case you're sending it to daycare or anywhere you just write the name i don't have the knee thankfully um so i just leave that blank but um but yeah so it has all the information you need tip when you freeze it freeze it flat <laughs> so like freeze it on top of a box freeze it flat so that you can store them stacked i used to like pop it in there like standing up and Rookie, rookie moves. <laughs> as far as storage outlines, um, I follow the rule that it's good in the fridge for a week, good in the freezer for six months, good in a deep freezer for 12 years. That's what I follow. You are free to ask your lactation consultant what she recommends. That's what mine recommended. Um, so you definitely want to make sure you're dating the baggies so that you know how long you can use it for. I've made the mistake many times where I put it in the fridge and been like, yeah, I'm totally going to remember that I pumped on Tuesday. Yeah, I totally don't remember because I have three kids and have officially lost my mind um, so you definitely want to make sure you put the date on there so you don't end up like me so um, as far as bottles each child is different um, we use the Komotomo bottle it's this one here it's like a breast to feel it you know um, it kind of looks like a breast oh my gosh she's so funny she's coming to, coming to drink it it's the only bottle she would take, and we had a very, very hard time with her. Um, so it's the only bottle she would take, and now she takes it perfectly fine, luckily. I highly recommend that you try it. It's not easy right, right in the beginning, but it gets so much easier. It becomes painless. Um, you know, so everything you experience right in the beginning, just, you know, for me, like, if I know this is the deal, like, it's hard for this much time, and blah, 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 and then it's fine, then I can, like, manage, you know? 
So I just hope that I was able to give you that kind of peace of mind. It hurts a little bit in the beginning. It's nothing un unimaginable. I mean, it hurts. It's hard. You're tired. But you're tired regardless. I've bottle fed exclusively also and was exhausted just the same. So, you know, if this is what you want to do, then you've got this. You can handle it. I hope that... Um, that you're successful with your goals and that you have a supportive group of people surrounding you and that if you don't that you're able to just ignore them you learn i mean i've i've told my dad off before where he's like well you're not gonna feed the baby here and i was like well dang straight i am like <laughs> excuse you you know so like and it's hard it's hard to tell your dad that like you know but i hope that um you know I hope you're able to succeed with your goal. Um, there are Facebook groups. Uh, Dairy Queen is my absolute favorite. It, um, it's a closed group for breastfeeding moms. And I definitely recommend that you join that group on Facebook. They're so good at answering questions and giving you advice and whatnot. Just being supportive. And you can always contact me uh, through Messenger if you, know, you want any of my advice. I only have so much of it. But I will be a positive advisor with no nonsense. <laughs> so... Thank you so much for watching. I do hope that I was helpful in some way. Um, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to leave me any comments below. Thank you so much for watching.